Okay, guys. This is Sir Clarkson building a direct drum. I like using these. This is TCS Billet 5140 direct drum. Reason for using it, the factory ones, if you leave the snap ring groove out, it pops this, or the, the wave plate out of forward, breaks the snap ring groove off here. So that's the sound boy is saying. Ah, seal. That just rolls in like so. Sorry, we got some lots of stuff slipping on them. Your lip seal. Goes on. Make sure that seals like it's all the way in. We'll get more slipping on this. This is the lip seal on this piston. Set her in. This is just a piece of plastic. Heavy plastic, like a notebook. All you do is you just take this here, stick it in, roll it around. And it pops down. The ring that sits in the forward piston. These here on the older style ones, they're, eight, they're 75 thou thick. This one's 89 thou thick. This is a new style transmission. Snap ring. Play this one here, 75 thou. Yep, 76. Put that in. Easiest way to seat your, your ring is just stab it. Like that, make sure it looks like it's seated all the way around. I also, in all my race applications, I have these billet pressure plates. TCS builds it for me. One pressure plate, alternate five clutches, four steels. The reason for using billet pressure plates is because the factory ones, they tend to shatter over time. Same with upper pressure plate. This here TCS builds for me exclusively. Ah, another 75 thou. Snap ring, yeah, 76. Put that baby in there. These clutches, like I said, all the clutches dry. And for when I'm pressure checking, I use the cast iron factory sealing rings because the Teflon ones, to get them to fix, set right, you go and you put you fill the grooves full of Vaseline and you squeeze them in there, they'll stay stuck in so you don't nick them when you're, when you're assembling the transmission. Let's see what we've got here. Pick this up. Set. Zero that. Yeah, I'll bring you up closer a bit. Let's see what I'm doing there. There we go. Okay. Of this. I like to push down on here. I'll get this straightened up. Got more on me. Okay. Zero that puppy. That's medium pressure on there. Okay. Air pressure check. Oh. Didn't have my dial indicator sitting in the right place. This in here. Yeah, right there. Right dead bang on 50 foul players. Huh? Yeah. I can show you how to assemble this, but I'm not going to load the clutches up with oil yet. Put your Torrington in the bottom here. That sits in. Make sure you always put that in the right way. This cup, the cup goes up. Okay, this. I always put Vaseline to hold this thrust washer on. I like to put a little dab on the bottom. 
That way, when you sink this down to the bottom, the Vaseline's, Vaseline uh, comes out, and you know you're sunk. See how the Vaseline squeezed in? There. That's done. Now, these turgents, I always soak them too, but I'm doing it dry just for the video here. And this goes in here. Okay. Should have showed you first on this. Make sure that you get this right. This pocket. You're going to measure how deep the pocket is in here. Zero that. And we'll just in a foul. Zero that pocket in there. In there. And if everything stacked as it would be in the transmission, you measure this height here too. You want that dead bang or just a little more clearance this way here. Right? This here's got two thou difference. All that good. This back in. just that easy thanks guys subscribe hit the like button catch you on the next video there should have been more but everything got lost I had a corrupted SD card I'm hoping this one works okay but thank you